Once you've booked the space, arrive at the allotted time and let yourself in by scanning your student or staff card on the card reader. Once inside, turn on the lights. Make sure you close the door properly and draw the soundproof curtains to ensure the highest quality recording. It is also a good idea to draw both sets of blinds as this will also increase the sound quality. Turn on the PC or the Mac and log in using your standard UL staff or UL student details. Once you've successfully logged in and are on the desktop, open up whichever sound recording application you're going to use. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will be using Audacity. Once your sound recording software of choice is open, adjust the microphone to a comfortable level with the pop filter in front of it, ensuring you keep a distance of a couple of inches away from the microphone. Once again, we're using Audacity here for simplicity's sake and because it's a free, easy to use software, but you can use a manner of other audio recording softwares. The setup should be quite similar. So I'm just going to click OK here. And the first thing to do is go to audio setup. We want to ensure that our playback device, e.g. where sound is coming from, is set to our headphones. So we go to playback device and it should be the Focusrite USB audio interface. This is the audio interface where we have our two headphones and two microphones plugged into. So the playback device is correct, where you can click to change. We're also going to check that our recording device is set to the Focusrite USB audio, which it is. Now we're perfectly set up. The only other thing to do might be to test the levels. So I can test the levels by hitting record a new track. And you can see up here that my levels are staying in the green. They're not going up to red, they're not going up to orange. This is good and I can see by the WAV file that this is a solid quality recording. If the recording were too loud, these spikes would be much, much bigger. And if it were too quiet, it would be a much flatter line. So I liken this. Now I'm just going to delete that. And that's as simple as it is really. To record a track, you just go in, click record, say I've deleted that with the delete button. I could start back here, record just from here. I could also say stop this recording, or I could pause it, and then I could resume the recording as well, or I could stop the recording. And if I wanted to record a new track, just go to tracks, add new, stereo track down here, and we can record multiple tracks. This is useful if you are recording voiceovers or you're adding sound effects. Uh, you can also import different audio. Import audio from here. You could import an MP3 or something like that. And once you're finished recording, you simply click export. And I would save most of my things as an MP3 or .wav. If you want further details, you can attend the podcasting workshop in the Makerspace, or it's also available online which we can link to in this video. That should be everything. Thanks for watching.